Hi guys and welcome to a very exciting tutorial with me Dona. In this tutorial we're gonna be doing this model right here, this uh, building with all of those patterns and um, those complex windows decorations. Okay, in this tutorial we're gonna do it in uh, ARCHICAD 20 but you can also use ARCHICAD 18 or ARCHICAD 19, they are quite the same. Uh, yeah. But the little difference with um, and the new thing with ARCHICAD 20 is you have all of those uh, new icon comments, okay? And besides, when you click at the wall, there is a little error appearing and you get a preview of all of your favorite walls. The interface is uh, quite beautiful. The resolution can go up to 5K. And the new thing with ARCHICAD 20 is it is connected with Rhino and Grasshopper. There is a live connection between uh, those three uh, softwares. Uh, this is Rhino and through this you can design a very complex walls and a very complex um, building or decorations into ARCHICAD with the help of a Grasshopper with the algorithmic design. Yeah, but we, we're gonna see that in a later tutorial. We're gonna start with ARCHICAD uh, 20. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create uh, worksheets. But before that, make sure your working environment is in centimeter because we're gonna use that in our uh, tutorial. Okay, so uh, right click at the worksheets and create new worksheets. This one will be the ground. Okay. And uh, another new one, which is the first floor. This one will be the second uh, floor. When that is done, you activate the ground and you take this tool here, this one, drawing, click inside and uh, you pick up the ground DWG file. Go to first floor, you do the same, first floor, open, place, second floor, you click inside, second floor, open, place. Now, when that is done, you go to the first floor and we need to create and reorganize our stories here. Fine. Um, right click at stories, story st settings and change the name into ground. The height will be 310 and then um, here will be the first, uh, this is 310, the name is first floor. Insert above, this will be second uh, floor. No, delete that one, hit okay. Activate the ground floor. And now um, we have this uh, wall. You see there are um, three different surface here. This, this, and this. And there is this, um, this banner. All right, come back here. Okay, we, we're going to create that before drawing our wall. So go to Window, Palettes, no, Toolbars, Attributes, and uh, choose this uh, Profile Manager, and then Create New, let's call it Wall 1. And uh, take the Line Tool and draw something same height as our floor like this right click okay 
now take the fill tool and draw something like this 15 by 90 another smaller one which will be uh, 15 by 2 zoom let's say 15 by 15 okay when that is done um, you select this and check override surface and search for stucco brown and this one check this override surface this will be pink blush then this small surface override search for a darker one uh, gray medium okay now zoom a little bit select this and click here and uh, make sure this is activated the offset edge and offset it a little bit now select three of them then make um, mirror a copy like this and now uh, retake this and draw um, uh, another surface okay now I would like to use a stucco red but we don't have that here we only have a stucco brown and stucco white so we need to create a stucco red okay so go to here surface and search for uh, stucco brown this and click new then this one will be red hit ok then uh, at the bump click here bump and change this image with the uh, red texture red GS this then here at the color change this with the red texture to red GS hit OK ok now go to internal engine then change this to this is just for preview this hit OK hit OK now select this and override surface with um this stucco red there you are now we can store it and uh, close this now here we're going to start drawing uh, our walls so activate this here and uh, activate trace and reference and uh, browse uh, pick up our ground okay and uh, drag it in the middle of our working space and now take the wall tool complex wall one then here at the model make sure that these are deactivated and this is checked now hit OK OK now we're going to start uh, drawing our wall so um, we're gonna start like this There you are. Okay, now let's go to the first floor. Then from here, browse the first floor. Okay, now let's let's drag inside of our working area. Okay. 
Okay, uh, take the wall tool, then start drawing the other side. Press backspace when you do mistakes. There you are. Okay, that's nice. Uh, now, at the second floor, go here and browse for the second floor worksheets. Hit OK. Let's see where it is. Okay, um, yes, come back here, and then um, we don't know if this is aligned with the ground or not. So we need to um, select it, and uh, it's not grouped. Okay, so um, just Control A to select all of them. And here, uh, choose first below current story and control D to drag it so that it fits exactly here okay and here choose a uh, second floor and uh, you come back here first then you drag this exactly on this okay and now go here then we can start drawing our wall and the wall at the second floor is a bit different from the um, the one at the bottom. Okay, we need to create a new complex wall from the complex wall there. Okay, uh, duplicate. Let's call this uh, wall two. Edit. Okay and we delete those delete okay and uh, now select deselect this yeah this here control D to bring them down then we can delete this delete and retake the line tool and make a height of 120 this way so that will be the total height of this wall select this drag it outside here then decrease the height to 45 control D to bring it back there you are select all of them Deselect this and Control D. Bring them here. Control D. This will be here. All right. So um, now we just need to decrease the height of this. There you are. That's perfect. Okay. Now we can uh, store it. Store and we can close this. And uh, we're gonna use that wall in here choose wall 2 and this will start at the 70 or let's use the uh, triangle one is that good no inside like this fine and then um, retake this. This will be zero total height seventy. 
and then activate the surfaces make them the same and change uh, the texture with the stucco brown like this and now start drawing using this uh, polygonal uh, method why I'm having okay just choose that like this this there okay let's have a little look in 3d click this to see them closer there you are but you see my geometry it's like um, it's not parallel my perspective okay so activate this perspective here so that you can you have it um, at the right size okay there you are uh, come back and uh, go to a ground floor then let's create slabs okay so take the slab tool uh, thickness let's say 15 15 then here I'm just going to change this or these two maybe this is a carpet gray okay um, paving brick moss yeah yeah draw a big surface like this then make sure it is at the zero okay yeah now go to the first floor go to the first floor and um, in here activate those and uh, activate that and uh, choose um, what is it stucco brown okay then uh, space click inside to have it and here change this to 70 first and then space click to get that and uh, the one inside here will be um, 190 this will be 190 okay space click inside okay and now uh, I reactivate this and the uh, below uh, current story and now change this to zero zero and then a space click inside of here there you are then a liter left here there you are F3 to see it yeah that's fine <laughs> okay so uh, that's all for this part and see you at the next part